everyone, it's tea time. So today I'm going to be answering a question from a mama in Newcastle. So grab your cuppers and let's get into it. Dear Ange, my three-year-old has started to take out her frustrations on her two-month-old sister. She is mostly loving towards her sister and can't wait to cuddle and kiss her every morning. I have made a point of ensuring I spend quality time with her every day and including her in helping care for her sister. But it doesn't seem to be deterring her from hurting her. Sometimes I can anticipate her behaviour. She has been given an answer that she doesn't like or has been asked not to do something. However, sometimes it does take me by surprise. I was reading her stories and as I turned away to grab another book, she bit her sister. Any advice and strategies would be greatly appreciated. This is a great question and a lot of people go through this. I went through this myself as well with my daughter and I remember for the first five days it was super stressful. Instead of using what I know, <laughs> instead of using what I know, um, my automatic motherly instincts kicked in to protect the baby. My automatic reaction was to say, don't, stop, what are you doing? Um, which didn't help the situation and actually escalated it. Some of the things that might be going on at the moment are impulse control. So as we know, our little ones are experiencing big emotions uh, inside their bodies and they don't necessarily know uh, what it is, what, how to articulate it and how to control it. So they experience this big emotion and then they just act. They don't quite yet have the ability to think it through. Another thing that might be going on is experiencing jealousy. So as we know, our little one's imaginations are running wild at the moment. They can imagine going to space and swimming underneath the water or from the living room. But now they can also imagine that when you're spending time with the baby, that you don't love them. When you keep telling them off, that you don't like them anymore. So what can you do about it? So for the ones that you can anticipate, empathize and validate their feelings. Acknowledge them for doing a great job. It is hard work being able to control your emotions and control your actions, especially at three years old. Don't forget to reinforce the rule because we do want them to learn from this situation and then either redirect them onto another activity or give them the option of playing nicely together or playing by themselves. So for example, stop them and say, I know that it's so hard to share your mummy. You have been doing a really, really great job. I cannot let you hurt the baby. Let's go and play, blah, blah, blah. Or you can say, I know you really want to watch TV and you're angry about that. It's okay to be angry. It's not okay to take it out on other people. Let's go and play with your dollies. Or you can either play nicely together or you can play by yourself. Up to you. So for the times that you can't anticipate it, you need to address the source of the behavior rather than just the behavior itself, because that's just a symptom of what's actually going on underneath. So if we're looking at jealousy, if that's what you think it might be, some of the things that you can do is at bedtime, you can do a gratitude list. So what are some things that they are grateful for or what are some things that they liked about their day? What are some things that they liked about with you? You can talk about some of the things that you guys did together, maybe name five things or 10 things that you and your little one did together and some of the things that they liked about that. If your little one has specifically said, you don't like me anymore, or you love the baby more than me, rather than jumping in and trying to convince them straight away, just hold off and ask them a few questions about it. What is it that made you think that I don't love you anymore? Or what is it that makes you think that I don't like you? And have them articulate those feelings. Then you can address it. Secondly, I would also ask them questions about the opposite. So how do you know mummy does love you? What are some things that daddy does that shows you that he likes you? And so on and so forth. Thank you, Mama from Newcastle, for this question. I hope this information has been valuable for you. Um, if you have any follow-up questions for me, definitely send me an email. For everyone else, here are my socials so you can send those questions through. For more tools and resources like this, head over to boldlivingprograms.com. At the moment, I am running two live programs, Taming Tantrums two-hour workshop, where you learn how to diffuse those power struggles and tailor strategies to suit your child and family needs. 
And the second one is a five week intensive Taming Tantrums masterclass where I coach you every step of the way. Thanks all for watching. Bye. Thank you.